Hey guys, it's Mr. B here again. Thank you for checking out my video today. Today we have a brand new PowerPoint game for you. This one is called Grillionaire. I know, I know, summer is almost over, but I just wanted to share this little PowerPoint game with you guys and I hope you enjoy it. Also, I want to say a big huge thank you to all of the viewers, subscribers and contributors. Without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. You can grab this free PowerPoint game template below this video in the description box. Also, if you want to get more materials like this and you enjoy my materials, you can like, share, and subscribe. This way, you won't miss any new updates when I put them up on my channel. All right, let's take a look at this brand new PowerPoint game. Let's click the play button here. And this will take you to the main um, screen. This is the scoreboard screen. Uh, on the left, we have the scoreboard. As you can see, you can um, have up to three teams or you can play this one-on-one. -on -one. I used this a couple of times with, uh, with my students online and they really enjoy it. So we have team one, team two, team three, and you can even change the name later. Uh, if you want and here we have the little uh, mini grills that uh, You can click on to give points and you have the rules button here and the support more projects if you feel like or if you want to support uh, projects like this and here on the bottom right we have the um, QA button if you click on this it will take you to uh, the QA slide uh, QA uh, slide and I'll show you how to edit it later. So let's click here and let's uh, go through the instructions here so you can play it one-on-one -on -one, or you can make a team of three or three teams and to add points just click on the mini grill um, on the scoreboard and you click on it again to minus points and to go to the QA slide just click on the little hamburger icon in the bottom right corner of your slide and when you're on the QA slide there is um, a hamburger icon as well at the bottom right click on that and that will reveal the question now you can click on the um, barbecue sauce on the question card and this will reveal the answers and there will be three answers for the students to choose from um, there's of course there's one right and uh, one correct and two wrong answers and if they get it right they can choose a uh, food on the grill and if they get it wrong uh, you just skip their turn and the team with the most grill points wins but of course you can play this however way you want with your class with whatever grammar or vocabulary you want so let's click on the return button here we'll go back to uh, the main screen here so here's a scoreboard and again um, you click on the points here to test it out and if you click on it again it will minus the the points just like that all right so let's take a look at the game so let's click on the little hamburger icon here in the bottom right corner of our slide and this will take us to the um, to the QA slide the main game so here we have the grill. So you might want to introduce the food to your students, like a uh, hot dog or sausage here, patty, hamburger, uh, shrimp, corn, ribs, um, and then we have uh, steak, maybe steak, chicken, fish or salmon here, and we have uh, mushrooms or skewered mushrooms, whatever you, uh, whatever uh, vocabulary you want to use. And here, up here we have the scoreboard button that'll take you back to the scoreboard if you click on that. So let's click on the little icon down here and that will bring up the uh, question. And this is question A. And I'll show you how to edit this later. So um, I hope you can watch this video to the end to learn how to do that. So let's click here. And this is um, answer A here. We got right, wrong, and wrong. And I'll show you how to edit this later as well. 
So let's click on um, one of the plates here, but make sure you click only on the white part of the plate, not the uh, the writing part or the answer part. And now uh, they got it wrong, so it made like a buzzard sound. So let's click on it again. So now it's question B. And if you click on the sauce here, you get answer B only. You got right, wrong, and wrong. So let's click on the edge of the plate here, somewhere on the plate, not on the letters, but on the plate. So make sure you click anywhere on the white part of the plate. So again, wrong, you hear a buzzard sound. Click on the uh, little hamburger guide to uh, remove him off the screen. And so you can test it out by clicking on um, the edge of the plates, in any part of the plates here. So let's click on the right one. Now you hear a ding sound, and this is the correct one. And just click that to remove it. And now, um, yeah, you can just try it a few more times here. All right, let's click on, um, let's click on uh, this one right here. Okay, so that's wrong. Um, you hear that buzzard sound. So when you hear the ding sound, that's the correct one. All right, so buzzard sound. If they get it uh, correct, they can choose a food on the grill. So the student, um, you can pick um, ribs here and then they got three points. Click on the scoreboard to go back and add three points. And then uh, click on the little icon here to go back. And now click here, bring up the question. This is question F, click on the sauce. If they get it right, click here and click this to remove. And then they can pick a food on the grill here. Uh, I want to choose a corn and let's see, we only get one point. So let's click on the scoreboard and go back and let's give our team one point. Again, just repeat the process. And um, once you edit the question, um, it'll be much easier. So you have everything ready uh, to go for your lesson. And if you are a parent and you want to use my games for, um, for your child, um, you can also do that as well and just put in the grammar or um, vocabulary that you want to practice with your child. Again, you don't have to play it the way I explain it. You can uh, play it however way you want. All right, let's choose another food here. Um, let's see. Uh, first, let's click here for the question. And we'll click here. And okay, this is wrong. So you kind of you uh, get the idea. And now um, let's click here again, just to show you how this works. So we're on letter K now, or question K. And now let's choose a uh, food on the grill. Let's just choose a red pepper here. And this gives us three points. Click on the scoreboard button to go back and let's give our team three points. And then again, click here and you can go here. And you can test it out by clicking on different food uh, so let's click on the sauce. Oh, we get oh, a no. minus point this time. So you have to be very careful. Some food on the grill actually gives you um, like a minus point or a negative point. So um, we deduct three points off of this team right here. So you can just click around just to see uh, what it looks like when you uh, download your own PowerPoint game template. Again, if you guys have any... Um, questions, uh, please feel free to ask me in the comment section below and I'll do my best to get back to you with an answer. And if you have any um, game ideas or suggestions, you can also write that down in the comment section below with a description oh, on no. how um, you might want the game to be like or how it uh, uh, functions and the reward system and so on. And I'll try to uh, come up with an idea um, for um, your games or your ideas. And who knows, maybe one of your games will make it to the next video. All right, oops, we just got uh, a bunch of points here on the grill. And this is a squid, grill squid. And this gives us three points. So you can see it, um, that different food get different points, but you gotta be careful because Sometimes you get oh, no. minus points. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs>
Oh! Oh, no! Oh, no! All right, awesome. Let's take a look at how we can edit the Q&A uh, for our lesson. So let's get out of here and we'll go to slide two. Um, there are 41 questions here to edit. So open your control uh, pane here and you want to click hide all. And you want to only reveal um, the first question. So the first one is A. So you want to only reveal A for uh, this slide. So here we have uh, the question for A and the answers for A. Now click here and you can edit the question. So make sure you highlight everything here and you just write your own question over this. So let's uh, choose a question here like uh, how do you, let's see, uh, come, come to school and then um, here we'll uh, write the answer. So this is the correct answer here. Should, the correct answer should be here. So let's write, um, I walk to school or I take a bus or I uh, take a train, etc. And here will be, you know, this, this will be the wrong answer here. So we'll just put something here like uh, I fly to school and here we'll put like something ridiculous like uh, I swim to school or something like that. And we'll just change the size of the font here to fit into the plate. All right. So now question A is done. We can hide this and then we'll move on to question B. So just open B only. So we have the question and the three answers. Again, click here and you want to highlight everything and then write your um, answer over it. So whatever, um, whatever you want to put here, it's just really up to you. Whatever you're teaching in your class, whatever grammar you're using, that's up to you. Um, just be creative with it and make sure when you click on the plate that you only get the rectangle that's inside the plate. Um, this will ensure that uh, you are able to uh, write your uh, answers in. So make sure you just click on the rectangle that's inside the plate. All right, so let's put an answer here. What do you do in the evening? Um, I eat dinner in the evening. And we'll shrink this uh, font a little bit. It's a little big, so let's make it a little smaller. And here we'll put another answer here. Um, let's see, something that uh, will definitely be a wrong answer. Maybe I, I fight lions in the evening. Okay, it's a bit of a stretch, but uh, let's just put that in there and shrink the font. And the last one, uh, just put whatever you want in here. Uh, my shoes don't fit. So it's definitely a wrong answer. Let's shrink the font here a little bit. And I, I think that looks good. And once you're happy with your um, Q&A, uh, just close it and just go to the next one. And this is question C here. So set C, so we have C next to C. As I mentioned, there are uh, 41 questions um, on this slide that you can edit. You can also add some images um, onto this slide too, but you'll have to edit the images um, to animate when um, you click on the question. So let's test it out here. And uh, let's click on the little hamburger guy here. And that'll bring up question A. So how do you come to school? Click on the sauce here. I walk to school. I fly to school. I swim to school. The right answer, I walk to school. And now they can pick a food on the grill to try to get some points or score some points. Let's get some mushroom here and we get one point. And let's click on here again. And this will be question B. So what do you do in the evening? I eat dinner in the evening. I fight lions in the evening. My shoes don't fit. So the right answer is here. Click here and we'll remove a little half of the guy there. And we'll click on some ribs here to get some points and this gives us three points. All right. Uh, and make sure you save your work so you don't lose all of that hard work. 
As I mentioned, there are 41 questions for this slide. You can also add an image here, but you'll have to animate the image uh, to match the QA. And um, it might be a little heavy for this slide because there's a lot of animation on um, the second slide. All right. So again, you want to go through all of the um, the Q and A here. Um, so you want to go through like set D, set E, set F, and so on. And once you uh, edit all that, you can just save it. All right, awesome. I hope you guys enjoy this little PowerPoint game. And if you do, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you want to see more contents like this, um, don't forget to uh, turn on your notification bell so that you can get the latest materials when I put them up on my channel. Again, I want to say a big, huge thank you to all of the viewers, subscribers, and contributors without you guys. This wouldn't be possible. So thank you. Thank you for watching my video today. I wish you the best of luck in your classes.